Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is, their thoughts and feelings about you. What are their thoughts and feelings about you? In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different number and stone. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so their thoughts and feelings about you right now. Okay, so this person is coming across like they're definitely crushing on you as well. They view you highly with the Queen of Cups here, okay? They see you as being somebody who is attractive inside as well as outside. They love your personality, your vibe, your energy. You radiate with positivity and shine. And they definitely come across like this would be a connection worth pursuing. They also show like they would do what it takes to make it work with you. They're just kind of like doing their own thing though right now, you know, kind of testing the waters a bit, trying to gauge you and seeing like where you're at with this. Are you interested too? And then they feel like it, it's going to dawn on them like when to take that action. Okay, so they're kind of playing it cool right now, but that is no reflection of their interest in you. Okay, so... The other cards tell a bit of a different story, okay? The beginning still stays true, but... Okay, so the rest of the cards kind of tell more of a story for those of you that were romantically involved with this person. For those of you that weren't, the first message was definitely for you. It's a very clear, sweet, new energy that you know holds all this potential and possibility to it and just like a lot of optimism but for those of you that were romantically involved with this person okay the first message still is for you Hey, okay, this person views you highly they would do what it takes but they are kind of waiting but they okay they're kind of strategizing a little bit more because they're like okay I know how you and I can get into it like we can get into these petty arguments and I don't want any of that okay so they actually might reach out to you with some kind of a sweet romantic gesture this message actually goes for both of you whether you were involved with this person or not but yeah just see them actually literally reaching out they could gift you with something or you know it could just be like a sweet gesture out of nowhere okay something kind of out of character and it's not that it's out of character but as far as like you two go this person has played it cool and now all of a sudden they want to reveal something okay They're very, they're definitely like cautious though right now, especially those of you that were involved with this person, but even the new people, because you know, it's just, they don't want to, it's like they're calculating their moves a little too much and all this overthinking is kind of creating them to not want to make a move. They do want to make a move, but it's like stalling them making a move, you know? But here's the thing, you know, they, they're spending these lonely nights is like what's coming through to me looking at the hermit reversed and it's like they don't like it. If You know, especially those of us who are entering the winter season, it's dark, it's cold, <laughs> feeling they're feeling it more like they're feeling alone more is like what's coming through and they want to reach out to you even more. I just, if you're both on social media, I get them wanting to like hit you up, you know, and, but until then they're checking out your social media and they're like wondering, are you feeling this way too? You know, like, are you feeling alone? Do you want somebody, you know, that's what's coming through. They're wondering, like, or are you filling up your time, you know? Are you not missing having somebody or do you have somebody? See, there's a lot of questions going on in this person's mind. So just wondering, are you feeling it like they are, you know? Which, like I said, is making this person want to reach out to you even more. We have the world. They feel like all would be right in their world if you were here. Like, if you two were together. 
they wouldn't care if it was cold and dark. They feel like they would be warm inside. That's interesting, like warm and cozy. You really are like a dream or a wish come true to this person. This goes for both of you, whether you were with this person or not. Even if you guys, you know, get into your petty arguments or not, it's like this person realizes what a gem you are and what a unique connection this is. And, you know, they want to give it another go or if it's new, they want to give it a real go is like what's coming through. So as of right now, you know, and this is a general reading, so only take it if it resonates. The cards are showing this person wants to reach out to you. Their thoughts and feelings are like, I want to bridge the gap between us. You know, I don't like this disconnect or this distance, not communicating or seeing you. And they just, they have this instinct to want to make things right with you. They're just kind of playing it cool right now. But I do see that, like I said, like when it hits them to make a move, they're, it's showing that they're going to. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and that information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. It does have to be a paid tier to get the benefits. And it also helps support my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so what are their thoughts and feelings about you? Okay, so instantly I'm seeing that this person can't get over you. And I find that to be interesting. Yes, like some of you watching this, this could have been somebody you were romantically involved with. Okay, so whether it had the X label or not, it feels like an X. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't need the label. But for others of you, I feel like this is a newer connection. Maybe it's that you two don't see each other a lot or you don't have each other's contact information it's interesting because I'm getting that there is such a draw here towards both of you magnetically so the fact that it's coming through immediately that they can't get over you I'm thinking why are they even trying to get over you you know what I mean so yeah, like I was saying, for some of you, this is going to be more of an X connection. And for the rest of you, it's because, you know, you don't see each other. You're not friends on social media. You don't have each other's contact information, something like that. There's some kind of level of practicality that's just not there, yet you both feel each other energetically. Or it could be a long distance connection. Okay, it's going to be different for all of you. The point is, they're not going anywhere, even though I'm weirdly getting a lot of walking going on here. So... It's like they physically are going somewhere or they're moving, okay? Something is going on with this person where like a lot of movement, a lot of actions taking place, but not where you guys want it to, like not towards you is like what I'm seeing. They just, they've got something going on in their life. It's literally causing them to move is what I'm seeing. Regardless, okay, of the distance, the time, the lack of communication, you both feel super connected to each other, okay? They feel on top of the world anytime they see you, speak to you, entertain the idea of you two, you know, being together. It's got this person wanting to take action towards you, okay? So that's interesting, especially given how the beginning is, you know. You are definitely on this person's mind, though, regardless of what this appears like like right now with the unfolding of this connection. So you guys might be one of those stories where it started off rocky. It looked like things weren't panning out in your favor, but then all of a sudden I just get like success, you know, triumph, victory. It's interesting. All those words are coming through. This person prides themselves on being a leader, on being strong and independent. They come across like they are a rock for other people. They like to remain cool, calm, and collected. They don't like to show when they're rattled, okay? And it could even be their line of work, whatever they do for a living. They have to master, like, their emotions. Something's coming through where this person literally is like, they spend time, like, being calm. 
They might even meditate. Whatever helps them be calm is what I'm seeing. They don't know, though. Okay, there's something else coming through here. You know, as much as you two have this spark and this connection, it's still this person has doubt that you're as into them as they are you. And as soon as I said that, I can feel that some of you are going to say, that's me. You know, I'm the one who's into them and I don't know that they're as into me. Okay, so if that's the case, I see that you two are mirroring this connection. Like you both are interested in each other. You both feel the spark, the connectedness, but like there's something going on. There's something there where you both could be good at hiding it. So you're both not entirely sure. And then I'm getting that it's like you both are waiting for the other to kind of like put that wall down and be vulnerable and communicate something that moves this forward okay and it's just kind of got this mirroring dance going on where you're both kind of waiting for the other to do it so neither one of you says anything you know what I mean it also could have to do though with you two not seeing each other a lot and not having each other's contact information so like there's many factors coming into play here but at the same time I still get that feeling that you're both still like you're the one who's on my mind. If given the chance, I would definitely take it. You know what's interesting, though, is this person is kind of torn between their head versus heart, and they do pride themselves on being a logical person, and they're like, they kind of have this feeling of like, I guess it's not going to happen or it would have by now, okay? That's like how this person operates. In fact, they like things to move quickly to a point. And because they feel like destiny, in a sense, hasn't brought you two back together in a while, that maybe it's not meant to be. But at the same time, they feel in their heart that like you could be the one. So it's got kind of this, they've got this conflicting thing going on is like what I'm seeing here. So I feel like you both kind of do the same thing which is like carry on with your life, but you both have each other in the back of your mind. It's got that what if, you know. It's like they think you could be the one that got away, yet they never really had you. That's interesting that that just came through. Like the star card here, that they see you guys to be like a star, shining, doing your own thing. They think whoever ends up with you is going to be like the luckiest person, though. Okay, I'm spilling the tea. This person, they'd be like, what? If they knew you knew that, you know. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing, though. They are definitely keeping this on the low. They're good at having that poker face. But, you know, like I say, energy doesn't lie. I'm seeing, though, if you guys, if you are in the spotlight at all, this person, they could be checking it out. That's interesting. So you two, either you are friends on social media or they have checked out your social media, even if you're not friends on there. And there's still a feeling, though, of not having each other's contact info, which makes this whole, like, moving forward kind of difficult. We have the wheel. So it definitely has this feeling, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. That's kind of how this person's operating, which I find to be interesting considering they are very much like the chariot and the king of wands here where they like to take control, steer their life in the direction they want it to go. But when it comes to love, they're definitely like, if it's meant to be, almost like you'll let it be known. Yeah, even more than that, like you two will cross paths again and then they'll let like make it known you know what I mean like they kind of want this could be subconscious but they're coming across like they want a sign like that you're the person for them ace of wands this person they don't understand this connection as far as like it goes beyond logic they felt ignited and like they came alive ever since you've entered their life and they're like i want to explore this connection further but i'm still feeling like due to whatever you both aren't able to do that just yet that doesn't mean it won't change though we do have the ten of cups here though so that tells me that both of you are feeling and thinking the same thing that this literally like the two of you crossing paths to begin with feel like destiny to both of you there's a familiarity there there's a feeling of like you know I've known this person that coming home feeling in fact both of you that's where both of you are conflicted you're both kind of like well if 
this feels so right. Like, why is it not unfolding like as effortlessly as I think it should be? So that's interesting. That's coming through for both of you. So yeah, it's kind of got that hangman energy of you both kind of surrendering to what is and you both feeling like if it's meant to be, we're going to cross paths again and something is going to happen, you know? Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to explore this connection even deeper or have any other questions and would like to book a, per feel free to book a personal reading with me anytime, you can email me your questions. All that information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. It does have to be a paid tier to get the benefits and it does help support my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so what are their thoughts and feelings about you right now? Okay, so right away I'm seeing that this person is coming across like they are in denial about even having feelings for you. I see through them. This person is putting up a front, but meanwhile, I'm saying that their happiest times were when they were with you, okay? They often reminisce and look back, you know, they might even scroll through old pictures, old text messages, and they miss it. They replay memories and conversations in their head, and they wonder is life ever going to be as good as it once was? Will I ever find this with somebody else? They're definitely checking out your social media if you have it. Doesn't matter if you guys are friends or not. Doesn't matter if they're blocked or not. If they are blocked, they're checking it out through a fake account, you know. This person just feels like their whole world got flipped upside down when you two disconnected from it, okay? They're, they're carrying on. For some of you, this person might even be with somebody new or you might be with somebody new or both of you. They're comparing them to you. They don't compare to you. Even if this person it, like looks good on paper for them, is more practical in ways. It's like you had their heart is what I'm seeing. For some of you, this person tried to move on and it just made them feel worse, okay? Either way, this person's trying to do better, trying to open their heart. They're trying not to run. This person is known to be a runner when things get intense. They are used to having a guard up. They're starting to let that down. They're starting to feel more. Okay, we have the King of Cups reverse. This person is trying to be like the King of Cups upright. Really come from the heart, open the heart. You know, they realize they have nothing to give. If they're not feeling it themselves, they've got nothing to give to anyone, whether somebody else or you. So this person is aware, okay? It's not like they're not. They have no idea where you stand. In fact, here's what's interesting they're coming across like they're cool without you. They're doing great, living their best life, right? Some of them might be posting like that. And it's really to convince themselves, okay? This person, like I said, they're trying to do what they feel is right, which is like move on because it's been a while since you two have talked. And they feel like, you know, anytime they've been able to check out your social media or talk to mutual friends that you both have, you're being portrayed exactly the same way, okay? Like you are cool without them. You are living your best life. In fact, you might even be with somebody new, but I feel like the same thing's going on, okay? Take it if it resonates, let it go if it doesn't. That you're like this person, even if you're like dating or seeing someone or talking to someone, you're like, it doesn't compare. Like I don't feel the same that I felt with this other person. But you both kind of have this like, you're being logical too though. And you're like, well, it ended for a reason, didn't it? Like we reignite this. Like you're both, you know, kind of weighing it, seeing, wondering if the other even feels the same. And, you know, they feel like if they were to approach you, you probably would have your guard up as well. And like the King of Cups reversed kind of matches your energy, you might be icy towards them, okay? You might even act kind of harsh. They don't know. And if you're with somebody new, they figure, well, I'm not even going to go there then, you know? Like you've clearly moved on, even if things aren't always like what they appear, which is what this reading is showing, Either way, this person knows you're both getting back to yourselves. You're putting yourselves first. You're doing what's right for you. Both doing you right now, you know, kind of like doing your own thing. You know, there is this feeling of both of you kind of looking over your shoulder, so to speak, and kind of like wondering about the other. There's curiosity there. There's wondering 
do they miss me at all? You know, do they think about me when they're with this other person? Is life as good as it was when they were with me? You know? So believe it or not, regardless of how things look, a lot of what you both are thinking and feeling is the same. There's just definitely this feeling of like, you know, bringing the logical, practical side to things and thinking like, it's too much damage happened. It's too much time gone by. Like, has this person moved on? You know, so on one hand, both of you kind of feel like it would be easier at this point just to move on, even if that's not what your heart wants. Then there's another part of this person that wants to take this bold action towards you and see like where the pieces fall. Yeah, so they might even come around with an apology. Because deep down, I'm seeing that this person feels like when things were good, this person felt like their best self when with you and like anything was possible and just like the sky was the limit, you know, like you two had the potential to be this elevated couple. They know, though, that it would take a leap of faith in order to see if anything would happen and this person's definitely on the fence as far as taking any bold action goes and you know I feel like at this point they're kind of just like seeing like if it comes to them to reach out and hit you up and you know see where you're at they might just they might yeah okay so here's what's coming through even though I get the feeling that they want to like say what they want to say to you at first, they might like kind of take like a light approach and just kind of like message you something casually. And they're going to gauge how you respond to that and then go off of that is like what I'm seeing. Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to explore this connection even deeper or have any questions, Feel free to book a personal reading with me anytime. You can email me your questions. All that information is right here. Also, if you would like a permanent discount on my personal readings and or exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. It does have to be a paid tier to get the benefits, and it also helps support my channel. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys.